Now for something a little fruity. Pomelo is a tasty treat and an excellent source of vitamin C. But as this peel is also very useful, it's edible. And it can be used to mask smells or smiles or drive off mosquitoes. But craftsmen in Jingzhou in central China's Hubei province have found yet another use for the fruit, turning pomelo peel into works of art. Let's go and check it out. Born into a literary family, Li Nanjie's parents expect him to go to school and maybe go on to become some kind of scholar. But partly due to the influence of his grandmother, he became obsessed with making pomelo skins into art. I remember that my grandma made pomelo skins into hexagonal boxes to keep her needlework when I was a little boy. With creative ideas and plenty of talent, Lee has been able to turn the thick and spongy pomelo skins into beautiful handicrafts. And like the original fruits, these handicrafts come in all different shapes and sizes. But they've all got one thing in common. All these eye-catching pieces depict faces, combining the features of both human beings and animals. This gives them a rather abstract and old-school look. Jinzhou is the cradle of ancient Chu culture, and I was inspired by the representative totems of that period. Unlike Li Nanjie, his younger brother Li Nanbao has adopted more modern techniques. With the help of machines, he created an impressive golden dragon and a beautiful phoenix. The dragon and the phoenix are legendary animals in China, so I made a dragon and a phoenix. The making of pomelo skin artwork is now listed as one of the intangible cultural heritages of Jingzhou. Li Nanjie and Li Nanbao hope that these skills can one day be passed down to the next generation. Fintan Monaghan, CCTV.